It's Friday, February 16th. You're listening to your Florida Daily. I'm Katrina Scales. It's never too late to do the right thing. And I believe that's what us as a city, we're standing up and doing. We're doing the right thing. He spent decades in prison for a crime he did not commit. Now, Robert Dubois is a free man. The city of Tampa is now about to pay out $14 million for his wrongful conviction. Dubois was found guilty of the 1983 rape and murder of Barbara Grams. The now 59-year-old Dubois was exonerated two years ago after DNA evidence showed that he had nothing to do with the crime. How would you feel if you were in jail for 14,600 days and every one of them damn days you knew you were innocent? What did you miss? You missed seven eighths of your life that's gone away. The most productive years of your life are gone. Tampa's city council voted unanimously to give Dubois $14 million to help compensate for all of the years he lost behind bars. The settlement will be paid over three years. The DNA samples that exonerated Dubois led police to two men who were already serving life sentences in state prison for another murder. Three bombs believed to have been hiding since World War II have been safely detonated in the Florida Panhandle. They were found last month in the Choctahatchee Bay, that's near Miramar Beach. Officials at Eglin Air Force Base said two of the bombs weighed about 250 pounds, and the other one was about 1,000 pounds. The three bombs are estimated to be about 80 years old. And calling all Bucky's fans, the gas station chain is looking to open another location in Florida. Bucky's submitted a site plan to open a travel center in St. Lucie County. It will be built on the corner of the Interstate 95 and Drio Road interchange. Plans call for over 100 gas pumps and nearly 800 parking spots. If approved, this will be the fourth Bucky's location in Central Florida, with the chain already having locations in Daytona and St. Augustine. Find these top stories along with breaking news, weather, and traffic all day on ClickOrlando.com. And now, a completely random Florida fact. Okay, this one's not so random. In the early 1900s, Kissimmee became known as the cow capital of Florida. It was the result of a national marketing campaign. And by the 1920s, the Partons and Whaleys introduced the purebred Brahmin cattle to Osceola County as a way to expand their own business and put Kissimmee on the map. The county even continues to recognize Rodeo Day, which is today giving kids a day off school to celebrate the city's rancher heritage. Your Florida Daily is produced by News 6 WKMG in Orlando. I'm Katrina Scales. Make sure to subscribe for new episodes wherever you like to listen.